What draws me to the genre of picture book biographies is that it's a fun way to talk about a snippet of someone's life, an anecdote, or, or chronologically using collage, primary sources, secondary sources, and it's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle with all the pieces that then make someone's life become three-dimensional. I was just out not far from my home walking my dogs and thought, if I could do anybody at all, if I could make a biography, anybody, who would it be? And I thought, oh, E.B. White, he was some writer. I had a, a link to him in different ways, and I just thought it would be so much fun to answer the unanswered questions of how did Charlotte's Web come to be, and how did his dog's influences work, and what, how did he get to The New Yorker? I came from this was going to be the definitive biography. I wanted to put my finger on every piece of paper I could that he had touched or that existed about him and get it down to a book that was as fun to read as one of his essays. Very early on in my reading about him, I knew that to be able to include E.B. White's quotes and pieces from his work, he said it far more beautifully than I ever could. So if I could link my story with what he had to say, I, I thought it would be more powerful and make him more accessible as a writer to kids. One of the things that surprised me was the volume of information on E.B. White. I knew E.B. White's granddaughter, Martha, peripherally. She came here with his scrapbook and I went to her home and looked at pieces and we started to craft together what would be useful information to use in this book. There was a lot written about him and there was a lot that he, he wrote, however many millions of words he wrote. And the, the trick was to synthesize it. If you're gonna have a conversation about him, what would you, what's the first thing you would tell him about? The dogs and the boats and the, his farm. How do you bring that down to just a chapter in a book like this? When I realized this book was too big for a picture book, I decided to make the kind of book that I wanted to read as a kid, the kind of biography I wanted to read as a kid, which would have been filled with pictures and illustrations and uh, photographs. The book became a hybrid. It's a 176-page picture book biography 